Okay guys, so I'm back on the DSLR. Um, <sighs> cut, action. Ready to turn on this Cobalt 2.2 LAP. I uh, went ahead and, and supercharged it with ZZP's 2.2, uh, 2.4 supercharger kit. And uh, we're about to get this started. We're pretty excited, both the owner and I. Um, we're excited to finally get this going and uh, we're barely gonna do the first turn on. We go ahead and uploaded the file from James and we're about to turn this on. But nonetheless, this is how, uh, pretty much this is how it looks. So this here is a finished product, or a product, a uh, finished assembly. We already, like I had mentioned before, we did all the, the, the spacer for the alternator. You probably can't see because it's too dark, but we did the spacer for the alternator the Adler pulley bracket. We go ahead and added the LSJ upper radiator hose. We put ZZP 3.1 um, pulley, five rib for the 2.2, 2.4. The LSJ manifold was on. And now the supercharger, of course, MC2 supercharger. And here, since with the valve cover, since we're not gonna no longer be using the factory hose that goes to the intake, as ZZP went ahead and supplied this breather filter that will go apply there. Um, for this bypass valve, of course, it's hooked up and the bottom nipple vents to atmosphere. So that won't need to be connected to anything. This map sensor here as well will not be needing to connect to anything, which I wanted to make a plate for that instead of having this sensor just here right there. Um, for the 2.2s, the map sensor is going to be located here. Uh, you probably can't tell, but it's that one right there. For the 2.2 the map sensors will be there. For the 2.4, there's a nipple that's right around this section. For the 2.4, that you're gonna hook up a uh, vacuum line that'll be to there to the sensor. But right now, it currently has this vacuum line here on the manifold routed to the boost gauge that's inside. Um, of course, we, I had to modify this 45 degree elbow from ZZP. Had to cut it shorter so I can be able to put the filter here on top and the hood would be able to close properly. Uh, the, the elbow they had sent was a little too big. I'm um, not the elbow, the 45 was a little too big. But I finally got it cut and set right to where uh, it's not obstruction and it's not, uh, and it lets, it allows the hood to close properly as well. Um, of course, the master flow sensor extension harness with the master flow sensor relocated over here instead of the driver's side, I mean the passenger side, it's relocated to the driver's side. We went ahead and went with the Illustrated throttle body. The line that comes from the brake booster is going to go ahead and be attached to the supercharger. And the line that was, the EVAP line that was to this uh, purge solenoid is going to go ahead and route with the hose applied to the throttle body. And of course, this is for the heat exchanger to fill the coolant for the heat exchanger. And there's a heat exchanger right there. So it's pretty much pretty well set. Um, we're just going ahead and get this uh, bad boy turned on and see how it goes. But there's the. That's how it is. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead. Uh, um, chime down below. I'll go ahead and gladly answer. I wasn't very thorough with this install, as I was with my. LNF build, but uh, I can pretty much help you out and hopefully what I did show is good enough to To help you out through the process if not like I said like I mentioned just go ahead and hit me up and I'll help you all out Please forgive the dogs that are in the background. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but uh, they're being a little rod right now You can probably hear them Ouch. That doesn't sound good, but hopefully they're all right all right guys, it's a bright bright day today, so please excuse the shades, but yesterday night I ran a small log just to try to dial in essentially the, the startup and idle, and so today after I upload the new file that I received, we are going to go ahead and go for a drive and uh, do a driving log and maybe hit a little boost, but until then, uh, let me go ahead and upload the new file for the LAP supercharged. So 
let's get this all set up. Four, three, two, one, set up. And we're complete. Now let's go ahead and do the startup. Hopefully, there's an idle difference. And uh, after that, let's go for a drive. Well, the car is definitely idling a lot better. Uh, the startup was a lot better too. Startup is a little raspy or loud because it does have an exhaust leak on the downpipe, which we need a fix, of course, and we are gonna get to. Uh, the owner is already getting the replacement downpipe, so that's gonna be taken care of. So once we fix that issue, the startup is gonna sound a lot better and we can be able to finish the tuning. But until then, we're gonna run the log for uh, driving, maybe grab on a little bit of boost. But uh, other than that, once it replaces the downpipe or uh, fixes that exhaust leak, then we can go ahead and continue and finalizing the tune. So this guy's on his way to enjoy his newly gifted life LAP supercharged. <laughs> 